in here and I got a new used PC. Long story short, I traded a box of Warhammer models for this thing and I thought it would be the perfect time to show you that when you buy a used PC or even a pre-built, the steps you want to take to make sure that it's in good working order and you don't turn it on and it blows up. So the things you want to do before you turn on the, uh, your new used PC. The first thing you want to do is you want to take a look around in it. it this is a pretty dusty. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and before I do anything, I'm going to blow off the dust. Uh, nice and better. And I'll link down below the gun I use. I've saved so much money in compressed air cost. Blowing this, uh, blowing things out and it doesn't get hot. Or I'm sorry, the can doesn't get cold and you can blow it easily. Anyway, that's all done. Everything's pretty clean as much as it can be. So now I know who I bought this off and I know it works, but we're going to assume that you don't know who you bought this off and you just bought it on Craigslist. The first thing is this makes me kind of want to look and see what's actually going on in the power supply. So the first thing I would advise you to do is to just double check the power supply and that everything works just fine in it. Now, I would argue if you're willing to buy an unused PC, you're willing to at least be able to troubleshoot it to make sure everything works. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I missed the back. It's still pretty dusty. I'm going to go ahead and blow that out. But let's take this power supply out real quick. There's a mess of wires in here. So obviously, I'm glad I did this because you want to make sure everything's powered correctly. And the first red flag is a SATA adapter. SATA adapters are never good. Now, it could just be powering the fan shroud, the fan hub, which it looks like it's doing. And then it's getting, it's moving to, I guess, these LEDs. It's powering those LEDs I showed you about. You know, it probably is safe. I mean, so I know it's safe because my buddy, my buddy actually used it. However, if you're buying this from somebody, I, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't know what they did. So the first thing we want to do is want to remove that. So we just got rid of that. Now we kind of want to follow where this is going. This is going to a fan hub, which honestly, this PC you don't need and it's just another point of failure. I would actually probably just take that out. I mean, this is literally powering a 1050 Ti and a um, lower end CPU, which I will show you as soon as I pull this open. So we're checking the power supply out. I cleaned it up a little bit. It's an allied 500 watt. It looks like it can handle everything in here just fine. Uh, so, you know, if you want to power the lights back on, I'm just going to plug them back in because I don't think there's a problem with it. But I am going to just rewire this just to make it look nice and that it's not being shoved in pull the duct tape off and just clean out the inside just a tad so another thing i wanted to do is i wanted to clean up the wires i'm going to zip tie them together and clean this up you know for a few bucks for a zip tie if this is going to be you just bought this pc and you're proud of it it's going to be your long-term pc for a while you're going to want to clean it up and make it look nice uh, just going through here i'm going to remove some of the stuff that i don't need this is a grounding wire and I'm not sure why there's a grounding wire on this case. It's a little weird. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to use. So it's got lights here uh, uh, and a USB front hub. I will leave it in. I feel like there's enough power. I looked at the way it was wired. It seems safe. After I got rid of this USB, um, after I got rid of these LEDs, which honestly are probably fine. I just chose not to take the risk. So let's just get this rewired and put back in. Put it in the right way. You want to make sure the fan goes you know where where the hole is i actually tried to put this in upside down because i wasn't paying attention so we're gonna we got the power supply back in we're gonna start cleaning it up a little bit wiring it or zip tying it i mean the um you don't need the pcie cable so you can kind of just zip tie them and shove them back there uh, if you're going to upgrade eventually which you can do uh, you can probably up take this up probably up to like a 3060 if you really wanted to maybe even a 4060 ti it's 500 watts so it should do the trick um That'll be for another video, but anyway, assuming you're just keeping it the way it is because it's just the best way for you, you just want to zip tie these and put them back there. Status can safely power basically like up to 30 to 40 watts. I mean, I know it's a, theoretically a little bit more, but I don't like to do that. This is probably like 10 watts or so, so you're safe. So I'm just going to hook it in and wire this together. Fire up the Molex and put it in there. Now, this already has a 128 SSD in it. Um, if you wanted to put a bigger drive in here for geek, for storage or for whatever, you could use this. But if not, I would just recommend tying this in the back. Again, you want to take good care of your stuff. This is yours now. You want to be proud of it. Uh, you know, 
I hate those posts. It's not much, but it's mine. No, it's yours. Be super proud of it. This is the best PC in the world because it's your PC, so treat it that way. All right, so the final thing I want to do is I want to put the SSD back in. Now, again, I know whose this was. He wiped it. However, if you don't know who this is and you bought it, assuming most of the time people will take out the SSDs and won't include them, if they do, uh, I think if you can get a hold of the buyer, you should ask them if there's anything they wanted on it. Uh, you know, it's the right thing to do. Offer to give it back to them. Uh, even if, you know, I would give it back for free, but if they want to give you some money back, I just, I'm always, I always believe in doing right by the buyer and the seller. The best business deal is the one that everybody wins. So you always want to be considerate of other people's data. And if you can't get a hold of the buyer, do the right thing and just wipe it because it's not yours and don't steal. I'm putting the SSD back in. It looked like it was just kind of hanging in the in the back. You can either hang or screw it. I prefer to screw them to keep them in stable. You can get a little creative. Uh, I found a, actually, let me show you. I found a screw hole back there. I decided to screw the SSD in here. So as you can see, uh, it's a lot cleaner than it was. Everything's neat. Now, you know, unfortunately I have to stuff these back there, but to be fair, all the cables that are stuffed back there, they're all wired and they're all easy to get to and you can pull them out pretty easily and I clean them up. Remember guys, you want to take pride in your stuff and keeping, uh, keeping things clean and doing it right keeps them working in working condition longer. So let's close this back up. It, it's all acceptable back here and uh, let's go to the front. All right, so now that we checked the power supply, we got everything in, got everything cleaned up in the front and the back. Let's check the, but you want to open up this, you want to open up the CPU cooler, pull it off, and you uh, want to get in here. Now, I didn't know what CPU this was when I bought it. I didn't care, but I'm assuming you do. The idea is you just want to make sure everything is there. The CPU is actually there. And then when it's there, you want to go ahead and repaste it because a lot of people who sell these things don't take good care of them. So let's go ahead and repaste it. As you can see, I repasted it. Quick repasting job. Now let's get the cooler back on. Cooler's firmly in. Next thing you want to do, you want to make sure the GPU is seated right. Um, you can kind of tell it looks pretty well, pretty well seated. Um, you want to check the RAM, the motherboard. All right, everything looks good. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. It looks a lot cleaner than when I got it. Um, so let's go for the moment of truth. Let's turn this thing on. One other really important thing, you see this back here? You want to make sure this is 115, not 240, or you'll blow it. So you always want to check that if your power supply has one of those. Moment of truth, turning it on. And it posts. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm sure I'll be doing some tests with this thing in the future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Again, you want to do all of these steps before you before you turn on the PC just to make sure everything works. All right, guys. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Again, please like and subscribe. Crewman out.